Hey everyone, Andy here with the Convergent Design Odyssey 7Q and the Sony FS700. This makes a great combination now because the Odyssey now supports full 4K raw data from the FS700. Before it could record the 2K raw data from the, from the camera, but now it can do full 4K raw data up to 60p in a DNG format. So it makes a great combination and you can really get the most that this camera offers into it, recorded right onto the SSDs inside. Also in the new firmware update from, uh, from Convergent Design is the ability to record in ProRes. This is a huge option. Apple ProRes is ex extremely popular, so people were asking for this from day one of the release of the product. Now it's in there. I can take ProRes and record in 422 from basically any, any camera that has an SDI spigot, so that's an option built in everywhere. Beyond that, I also have the ability to record, to take the FS700's full 4K data and, and scale it down to ProRes for a really nice, high-quality recording, the best ProRes possible. Let me show you how to set those up really quick in the menus. I go to Setup here and go down to my Setup, my setup Monitor Record options there. And you'll see a, a couple of different options. The 422 recording, as, as I was saying before, take any SDI in there. It's a full 422 ProRes recording, up to 30p for now. Uh, below that, FS700 RAW is there. You'll see FS700 RAW, that's the DNG format. Again, set that up and you'll go. Now, you, you do need a license to do the, the FS700 RAW recording. Uh, it's well worth it, though, if you have this combination, but it is a paid upgrade. Uh, but the 422 ProRes is free with, the, with all models. And the very bottom of that, you'll see the FS700 4K RAW 2 ProRes. That's the, the mode where it takes that full 4K data, scales it down to 1080, and records in ProRes, giving you the best possible quality uh, ProRes you can get out of the camera. Well worth it if you're recording in ProRes all day. Makes a really nice option uh, for sure. So just be warned, it takes a couple minutes to get into that mode right now, uh, but it's well worth it. Leave this mode, there's a couple other things I want to show you. Uh, if I go down to my zoom button here, I have a one-to-one -one and a two-to-one zoom option for the, the, the 7Q. Hit it twice, I get two-to-one. And now I can put my finger around the screen to actually change the position of this zoom. It's a really great option to have if you need it. It's a cool small thing, but important. And finally, another small thing that I like here uh, is the hide button, which is before it just turned off all the characters, etc., on the on the screen. But now you can also change it to turn the screen off altogether. You just tap it and it turns the screen off. So if you're just using this uh, 7Q as just a ProRes recorder, well, you can do that uh, and turn the screen off altogether. No one has to see your video. So it's another small thing that clients and users have been asking for. Convergent Design put it in, and it goes to show you that they have a lot coming up. This is actually version 1.1.105, sort of an odd number, but it goes to show you how many updates are going to come in the future. You can think, we can look for things like uh, 4K ProRes in the future, higher frame rates, more scope options. It's all on the uh, timeline, so excited to see this product develop and what it can do increase every day. So uh, stay tuned. I'll put a little couple of clips on the uh, website here, uh, some ProRes, some DNX, or some DNG files to check out if you want to see how the FS700 performs there. Uh, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.